Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. I went to Walmart today. Uh, they do have the new, a few new sensational wax melt scents out in the Canadian Walmarts. So it doesn't happen too often. Uh, so I finally was able uh, to pick some up and I did get uh, five cents. And also um, I did get some books at uh, this uh, really neat bookstore here in London, Ontario called Attic Books. It has like three stories of used books and they had um, they always have some really really good deals. Uh, so I ended up getting like nine or ten book books uh, anywhere from a dollar to like three seventy five each. And then I did get some skincare from uh, YesStyle. So I'll start um, actually with this uh, magazine that I get quite a bit, even though I don't cook. I usually hand Frank or Jules a magazine and here's some ideas guys. Um, I wish I loved to cook but I don't so anyway it's the Food Network um, magazine and on the cover it has sweet potato soup with cheesy croutons. Uh, so actually Frank and Jules make a really good potato and leek soup. It is really really good and they add all a bunch of different things in it and it's so good but this is a great little magazine um they also have some like little halloween uh food in that uh to eat really cute little ideas for halloween and that sort of thing and um oh it looks like the great pumpkin pu cake or whatever not that i'd ever try anything like that but sometimes i just like to look through here and um I know it's just fun to look through here. Not that I would cook anything up, but they have like tons of recipes in here. All right, so um, wax melts. Uh, so I will start with Twilight Leaves, and that cover is absolutely beautiful. Now this one's a little bit, it's, it's, I wouldn't say clone, I wouldn't say perfumey. It's kind of unisex in a way. Um, Oh, I'm trying to pop it out here. Smell the back. It's a little bit easier. Oh, it's not going to come out. I I smell some fruit in there actually on the bottom. It's it's just kind of a unisex scent, but I get some fruit when I smell the bottom also. So yeah, we'll see what that. Uh, smells like when it's warmed up and it's got this beautiful blue wax. And the next one is Vanilla Pine. Again, I just love the labels on the Sensationals wax melts. This is definitely pine. And I think vanilla maybe comes in second. Like it, It's not a really sharp kind of pine scent. It does get softened up with the, uh, with the vanilla for sure. But yeah, de definitely the pine is the dominant scent and it's just softened up like a little bit of uh, vanilla. And this is Marshmallow Crispies. So I heard that this one smells like Fruit Loops and it definitely does smell fruity. It's, oh, it's really strong on cold, really strong. Yeah, it definitely does smell like Fruit Loops, definitely. I get a lot of orange in there also. And then for the uh, like the the actual rice krispies, that kind of cereal kind of scent, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely dominated uh, by the the fruit. It's very strong on cold. Salted caramel buttercream. This is also very very strong on cold. Oh boy, this this reminds me of the Sensationals salted caramel popcorn they had out uh, a couple of years ago. Um, this one doesn't have that popcorn-y kind of scent to it, though. It's more just like salted caramel. And it's very strong on uh, cold. Uh, that one smells really good. And then uh, this is Celestial. Again, very pretty label. And this one is, this is more clony than anything. But I can see this softening up a little bit. It's a little bit sharp on cold, but I can see it softening up a little bit on um, when it's warmed up. But it's not a, a cloying, obnoxious kind of cologne. It's uh, I can see it softening up a little bit. So that was it for the Sensationals. And then I had to um, drive downtown and help Jules uh, 
drop off his some of his work at the art gallery and he had to price it in that so a few doors down is um attic books here in london and uh some of these are a dollar like i said or 375 and i was really looking for some books by this author minette walters so i read a couple of her books and um i really want to read some more so I think her very first book, or her most famous book, is called The Sculptress. And uh, yeah, this one, I think, I'm pretty sure this is her first book. Um, but yeah, they, they take place in England, and um, just her characters and her plot twist and everything, they're just, uh, I really like how she uh, writes. And this is called Disordered Minds. Yeah, this was on sale for $3.75. They have a basement, um, the main floor, the basement, and then uh, uh, up top they had the, these really old books. Like, I think the one book is from, like, 1400s, written by some monks, and that is really a neat a neat store. Uh, so this was, like, $3.75 for a hardback. I think this was in the bargain basement, they call it. So Disordered Minds. And this one's called The Dark Room. Oops and sorry for the glare and um oh i think that was it that's just another one and then uh for a dollar i got this heather graham uh the dead sleep uh now i think this is a series uh so hopefully hopefully um sometimes with a series you have to kind of start with the first book so hopefully this one will make some sense uh but it takes place in New Orleans, anyhow. Uh, this was also a dollar. This is A Mystery of Medieval Ireland. And I love medieval times. A Secret and Unlawful Killing. Uh, so this takes place in 1509 in Western Ireland. So I think it's like a murder mystery kind of thing. And I love... Um, medieval times and uh, murder mysteries or you know things like that during that time uh, so yeah just for, just a dollar for that paper uh, sorry hardcover uh, Death in Devil's Acre this is a Victorian murder mystery by Anne Perry and uh, this one takes place in ancient Ireland also. Is it the same author? No, it's a different author. Uh, the Chalice of Blood. And, yeah, it takes place in 670 AD in Ireland. And this is uh, Let Me Lie by Claire McIntosh. And... There's that one. So anyway, yeah, so uh, really good prices. Um, I have to go there next week anyhow to the art gallery, and I'm going to try it again because they were just closing up, so those are the ones I grabbed. So, And I also made a, a Yes Style skincare haul. Uh, yes Style is a Korean uh, site. Um, unfortunately, they put their shipping up, the price of their shipping up. It used to be free if you spend any more than 49 Canadian. Um, so yeah, and they have really good prices, really good sales. Um, they always have 10% discounts if you can round them up. Um, so I'm not going to be making too many orders from them until they hopefully go back to free shipping. <laughs> but, um, anyway, I did buy, uh, a couple of these, uh, Centella Asiatica creams and I do have these and I wanted some backups and Centella Asiatica is from the Tiger Bomb. Uh, plant and some uh, they found that tigers uh, if they're wounded in battle or wounded for any other reason roll themselves and this helps heal but it's very soothing very healing so I do wear these when I'm on my 12-hour shifts at the hospital I have to wear mask all day uh, sometimes it just gets a little itchy and um, gets a little irritated under the mask uh, but these really have done wonders like I get virtually no irritation when I'm wearing these. And the first one is by Skin and Lab. It's Metasica Calming Cream. 
And of course, uh, metacassicide, uh, Sika, that's all from the Centella Asiatica plant. Uh, but it, it's very, very calming, very soothing, very moisturizing. And I think there's like 50 mils in here. So I have been using this one um, at work. And also the iUnique Centella Calming Gel Cream. So if you have oily skin, this one's good for oily skin. Um, but usually under your mask, you get pretty hot. Uh, so this one, um, you know, if it's for oily skin, I just get so hot under there so it doesn't really bother me too much. Uh, but this is a gel, like a clear gel. And yeah, you just put it on. Both of them just sink in and absorb nicely. It doesn't leave a film or stickiness on your skin. It just sinks right in, just leaves your skin very smooth, very soft. Um, so those two I would really suggest if you have to wear a mask a lot and it's just irritating your skin and that. Um, especially if you if you break out with the mask. Luckily I don't. I don't have any hormones left to so I don't break out too much anymore. But if you do break out, um, Centella Asiatica or Sika Balm, uh, Matacassicide, that stuff's very, very soothing and um, helps soothe any breakouts and calm any breakouts down. Now these two cleansers I've had before and I want to get some backups and this is a Hada Lebeau Hyaluronic Acid um, Foam Cleanser. So you only need like a pea size of this and it really foams up. And it does not strip your skin at all. Uh, it doesn't leave your skin squeaky clean and like tight. It just cleans very nicely, but leaves your skin very smooth and moisturized, but it doesn't feel like there's a film on it. And this is the All Clean Green Foam Hymish Cleanser. So this is um, pH of 5.5. Uh, this one doesn't foam up. It's more like a, a clear gel. Uh, but again, it just leaves uh, your skin so moisturized without uh, like a heavy feeling or like a film left on your skin. So those two I really, really like. And uh, this I've had before also, just getting the back up. And this is the Benton um, Eye Cream. Now this works so well under um, eye makeup. Uh, I find a lot of eye creams, or if I just use moisturizer that I use on my face around my eyes, it's just, it gets too oily and then my eye makeup's all over the place. Uh, but this one is very moisturizing and it works very well under makeup. And it has galactomyces in here and I think ceramides too. Yeah, ceramides which are normally found, found in your skin. Um, to help act as a moisture barrier and the galactomyces really smooths out your skin. I really, really like this one. Um, it's normally about, I don't know, 32 Canadian, but it was on sale for half price for like $16 and I got another 10% off with a special that they had. So, um, but it's like 30 grams, so it lasts forever and it is, that's my go-to eye cream now. And I did get um, Make Prem um, uh, SPF 50 PA plus 4 sunscreen. So I've heard very good things about this. Um, it looks like a very small bottle, but it's actually almost, um, it's 55 mils, so almost two ounces. Uh, but I've heard very good things about that. And that's pretty well. I only use Japanese or uh, Korean skin um sunscreen now it's it's just acts as a moisturizer it, they feel more like moisturizers and sunscreens most of them just absorb and you don't feel have that tacky white cast and and they're just perfect i, I just love those sunscreens and this is a centella this is by Preto. Preto makes very good sunscreens and this is actually the unscented serum and this has just a whole bunch of goodies inside it. Um, just let me... Oh, this is Centella Asiatica. It's 50% Centella Asiatica. Glycerin, which um, is moisturizing. Niacinamide, which helps um, get rid of like dark spots. It has ceramides in it, which is normally found in your skin. Sodium hyaluronate. Um, peptides, which... Uh, help with the wrinkles and everything. It's just got 
a whole like a buffet of wonderful wonderful ingredients um so i have gone through a bottle of this um, but i thought i'd just try the unscented one and this is the Benton fer fermentation essence so again it has uh, galactomyces in it are you going to focus oh there we go so this has galactomyces in it um they found that people who uh uh, who worked with yeast in that, like making beers or sake or what have you, uh, their uh, skin on their hands was very, very smooth. And uh, so they're using this in the skincare products. And I haven't tried this one before, but it has the galactomyces in it. It's, um, it's 100 mils, so this should last a little while. And the last one is the Pareto um, Unscented Sunscreen. So this is extremely popular and for good reason. So this has no essential oils, no fragrance, uh, no white cast. Uh, it is so good. This is my second one. Um, they have, I think, about three different types of sunscreen. Uh, their BB cream's excellent too. Pareto's a very, very good make. So um, a really, really good sunscreen. So that's it, guys. Um, I'm going to go watch the Toronto Raptors. If they lose, they're out of the uh, playoffs. And it's only the semifinals. I don't know what happened. I, I don't know what happened. Uh, Boston has a good team. Uh, we certainly do have trouble with Boston. So anyway, I'll go watch them. Uh, so anyway, uh, everyone take care. Uh, be well, be kind, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.